Just been walking across a beautiful field and the birds are singing and there's a cockerel crowing. It's quite early morning and uh, one thing I've loved about walking through here is the amount of plantain. We bought plantain I can see. So I thought I'd do a little video just to show you how to identify the plant and what you can use it for. So looking here, we bought plantain. It's Plantago lanceolata. You might also know greater plantain, which is the one with round leaves about this big, but this is my favourite one to use. Specifically, mostly for being a wound healer and uh, a healer of things like uh, bites and stings, which we get quite a lot of in the spring and summer. So coming, looking at the, the lovely chiff chaff up there as well. Birds are amazing at the minute. If you look here at ribbot plantain, you've got these really lovely long leaves, and on the back here, you can see these ribs going parallel up the leaf. That's the front of the leaf there. Also at the top here, you've got these quite stunning looking flowers. Quite prolific, you can see all around here. It's everywhere. There's even behind it a little bit of a lovely flower I like called yellow rattle. It's quite unusual. So ribbot plantain is amazing at being a wound healer. It can stop uh, bleeding. If you place a piece of this leaf, if you pick a piece off here, and you chew it up, Mm, quite tasty. <laughs> and then you take that and you make a little poultice. And as you're chewing the leaf, what happens is you release all the chemical compounds within there. And these are anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial, antibacterial, antiseptic. It's a bit like if you went to the uh, chemist and you got a nice cream and you put that onto something like a little wound or a nasty bite. And what you would do is you place this over, say, uh, so I get bitten by red ants quite a lot. And <laughs> I get bitten... Um, and I get a bit by horseflies, and I get a really nasty inflammation, and it can be quite painful. Um, it's hot, and if you put this on to the actual affected area, it will bring down the inflammation. It will reduce pain. It's got an analgesic quality, and it will also help to draw the infection out. It's even been known to draw things like little shards of glass out of your skin. It's quite amazing. But if you had, so I get swelling to the side of tennis balls sometimes, put this on overnight, a little poultice, and you find by the next morning, the swelling, the pain, the heat will all have decreased and the infection will have been drawn out. It's quite fantastic stuff. Another thing that ribwort plantain is useful for, it's lovely leaves here. It's one here, it's lovely. It's all covered in morning dew. See that? Isn't that lovely? It's also useful for if you've been stung by nettles. So we often think we'll go and find a dock leaf but actually the ribwort plantain is much more effective. You can't miss it because of these long leaves here, and like I say, the ribs. Also good for hay fever, so it's got antihistamine content. So if you were to pick a leaf, put it into a tea, and take that as a tea, you could help with the symptoms of hay fever. The whole plant is actually quite cooling, so anti-inflammatory can also be used internally as well as externally. So if you were to pick a few leaves and to take these into a tea, uh, this would help with things like uh, inflammation within the lungs, so if you've got a cough, cold, bronchitis, it helps with uh, just cooling down the mucous membranes. Also with the digestion, if you've got IBS, uh, it goes down the digestive tract, have a very nice cooling effect. So multi, multi useful. And uh, I've got to say, it's one of my friends, because without this little lovely, look at that, can you see the pollen coming off there? Watch a minute, if I can do that. Oh, it's coming off beautifully just now. But these little, uh, you can actually use the seeds as well. They have a bulk laxative effect. So they can be used, got fibre content. And you can take those internally as well. Look at that, it's beautiful, isn't it? Fantastic. There you go, ribwort plantain. Stunning.